Across the history of League of Legends, there have been young players touted as potential geniuses. Reckless at IPL 5 in 2012, Caps being called Baby Faker in 2016, the infamous Griffin roster with Young, Chovy, Viper, Tarzan, and Kanavi, the list of these players who were given the narrative of the future of League, and succeeded in making their mark, is almost uncountable. Even larger, though, are the list of players who were supposed to be the future of League only to play out normal careers that never really lived up to the initial height. Whether trapped in Tier 2 for extended periods of time, or bursting into the scene as one of the best in the world only to swiftly decline in the following seasons, or just never reaching the promised ceiling in the first place, there are plenty of reasons to be skeptical whenever a new, up-and-coming young player is declared a prodigy who can leave a strong footprint in the game. Now, I'm not here to confidently say that this player will be great, or even that they'll be good at all by their retirement, but I've got a player I want to talk about who definitely checks a lot of the boxes, and has potential to do big things not only domestically, but even possibly on an international scale for his region. In this video, I want to take a brief dive into a region that flies under the radar for many people who follow the pro scene, the CB LOL located in Brazil, to introduce you all to Andre Saraiva, also known as Ayu. Ayu is a 17-year-old with Brazilian residency who currently plays for Furia. He's only completed one split for the team so far in spring of 2023, finishing 4th place. As a support player, it can be pretty difficult to stand out. Supports are usually role players who pick champions that facilitate the team through engage or specific carries through enchanters. Apart from the flashy engage in teamfights, making a name for yourself as a support is a monumental task that only the best of the best can say they've done. Many support players are content to fulfill their role in the team to a high degree, specializing in those engaged champions and enchanters. You can make a name for yourself with either, with players like Vulcan, Madlife, and Ming being known as great engagers, or players like Sven and Mako who have shown strong proficiency on supportive healers and shielders. However, the best way for supports to stand out above the rest is to be unique. The biggest support names of today all have a certain identity, like Karia who can globally shift the meta at will, or Hillisang who is viewed as having some of the best eyes for flanks in teamfights. Ayu, having played his first split as support, was not to be outdone in the unique department. Across spring, Ayu was known not only as a Belveth player, but a dominant Belveth support player who was completely picker banned on the champion. He played it a total of 6 times, 3 of which were in playoffs, with an impressive 6-0 record on a 7.1 KDA. To say this guy didn't stand out would be outrageous. Ayu also dominated Brazilian solo queue, spamming his unique support pool all the way up to rank 1 on multiple occasions in both 2022 and 2023. When you combine his solo queue dominance, his young age, his rookie split success, and his willingness to play with his own identity, you get the makings of a possible future star. However, I know what some of you are thinking. This is great and all, but it's CB LOL, a league that despite finding some success internationally in the past couple of years, is still widely viewed as a bottom of the barrel region. An entertainment region with a weak solo queue ladder and a small pool of talent across the board. How can a player from CB LOL matter at all? During the time frame that MSI was occurring, Furio decided to take a bootcamp to Europe where the tournament was being held, and IU hit rank 1 after just 14 days. At the time of leaving, he was 138-60, a 70% win rate, and he did it on ADC. To many, EU West is the most competitive solo queue ladder available in the entire West, and this was in a time frame where the server was populated with pro players from across the world. His achievement is certainly not to be downplayed. While 60 of the games or so were played in his current role of support, featuring of course, the Belveth, IU got to show off his true role, ADC. In truth, IU was always an ADC player. It was his original solo queue role, and he only role swapped to support due to a lack of demand for ADCs in the CB lol. All of a sudden, the claims that IU has potential to be the best in Brazil don't seem so lackluster anymore. He proved he can hit rank 1 on multiple servers with multiple roles, and a dominant rank 1 with a high win rate across a low span of days at that. I would be lying if I said the news of this didn't get me hyped up to see IU play come summer. As expected, IU has role swap to ADC for this upcoming split, and his support is Zay, a strong pick who played for Los Grandes during their recent third place finish. The potential for a high ceiling is definitely there, and the mindset IU has displayed so far checks all of the boxes. All that's left now is for him to perform. While he might be stuck in the CB lull for the time being, this might not be all as bad as it may seem. 
For a long time, the international scene has had the same power dynamic. LCK and LPL on top, then LEC, then LCS, then PCS and VCS, then LJL, and finally CB LOL being grouped in with the LLA and the TCL, a region that was just relegated to the tier 2 scene of Europe. The reputation of the CB LOL as recent as MSI 2021 was that Brazil was nothing more than a rival to Turkey, and this narrative was often played up at these international events. However, the power dynamic of the minor regions has been changing these past two years. DFM makes groups at Worlds 2021, which seems to solidify a spot with VCS and PCS. Then, Loud comes into Worlds 2022 and takes a game off of Fnatic. Most recently in this MSI, VCS lost to LLA, and Loud decisively grabbed a 2-0 victory over DFM, pushing the CB LOL potentially all the way up to 6th, just behind PCS. With just a few more star players and some strong runs at international play-ins, we could be looking at a world where Brazil is seen not as a bottom tier minor region, but potentially a lock for 6th best and maybe even contesting 5th place spot against PCS who are being constantly siphoned by the LPL. That's the real reason why I've been looking to Brazil for young upcoming talent like Ayu. While Loud have been performing above expectations internationally, they can't do it alone. We saw DFM cap out after being the only strong team in the LJL, and Loud is destined to remain with a low ceiling if there isn't any competition domestically. A player like Ayu is the first step to elevating this region, a young superstar talent who has proven himself in multiple roles across multiple regions with a unique playstyle. A player who could be the key piece of a team that can finally match Loud domestically in playoffs and raise the level of the region as a whole. In terms of Western players to keep an eye out for, IU should be at the top of your list. That's all from me for this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments since this is a completely new format for me. I stream sometimes on Twitch and also have a Discord server, links to both will be in the description. I also have a Ko-fi page and any tips are highly appreciated. Bye!